Hello and welcome Scientific Pandaist. Hello. So, what is Scientific Pandaism? First off, it is not a religion. It basically an atheistic belief system that incorporates element of Pandaism. So, what exactly is atheism? Contrary to popular belief, atheism is just a very broad term used for anyone who does not believe in the existence of deities. One can be spiritual or even religious yet still an atheist. Many Buddhists and even small sects of Hinduism have atheistic beliefs. What about Pandaism? Most people have never heard of Pandaism. It is a combination of two broad theological beliefs, Deism and Pantheism. Deism is the belief in an impersonal deity. It is usually associated with the belief that Deus created the universe, but never acts upon it. Pantheism is the belief that all is God, or in other words the universe is itself a deity. It is usually associated, but not confined by, the belief that the universe or God acts upon itself. Pandaism is the belief that the universe is a deistic deity, an impersonal God. The majority of Pandaists believe Deus created the universe and then became the universe. I'm a bit confused. How can a scientific Pandaist be both an atheist and Pandaist? Isn't that an oxymoron? I know it sounds weird, but scientific Pandaism isn't an actual Pandaistic belief in the strictest sense. But rather uses the term Pandaism to demonstrate the most crucial belief within scientific Pandaism. And what is that? Scientific Pandaists believe that everything, and as a result everyone in the universe is connected by force. This force does not act upon the universe, but merely exists and allows for emotions such as empathy. This connection is not supernatural, and is not a deity, but rather just a relationship, that is ever existing. Scientific Pandaists do not believe in the supernatural, and as such are both atheistic and naturalist. Where did this conclusion of connection come from? This is the science part of scientific Pandaism. This connection is shown through the scientific theory of the Big Bang. This theory outlines the creation of the universe. This theory states that everything within the universe was condensed into a small ball of matter, perhaps even as small as a golf ball. As such, every single thing within the universe has a common source, whether a meteor on the other side of the universe, or a small rock on Pluto, or even you and me. Well that makes sense. Thank you. For more information please contact me, the Scientific Pandaist.